At Rainbow, just like we always have, we really put the safety of our patients and families first, and that means also protecting the safety of our staff and our healthcare providers. So there are a lot of different things we're doing at Rainbow to make sure that happens. One is to screen patients and visitors and staff when they enter all of our buildings. So you can expect that you'll have your temperature checked, you'll have some questions asked about exposures and symptoms, and then once the screening has taken place, you'll be asked to put a mask on. So everyone, patients, staff, visitors, will all be wearing masks. We're also doing some things to minimize the time people need to wait, minimize any risk for crowding and like waiting areas, making sure that when you come for an appointment, for example, you'll be taken straight to your room and can expect not to have a lot of waiting or lingering in groups. In an outpatient center, number one, there are definitely some very specific standards around cleaning and disinfection with a special attention to some of those high touch surfaces. So that's very standard across the system. Some outpatient centers actually are doing some pre-registration work so that you don't have to do too much at all at the registration desk. That varies a bit from place to place. That's one way to prevent sort of building up of lines or having to linger too long at the desk. In the exam rooms, number one, adherence to cleaning practices is really important. And so it always is, but certainly really reinforcing those cleaning practices between patients is something that's important. It's important that everybody mask because what we're doing when we mask is we're protecting our neighbors from the droplets that we are breathing or that we are coughing or that we are speaking. We know that the coronavirus spreads through those droplets. And so when I wear a mask, I'm minimizing the spread of my droplets to you and my neighbors. And the same is true for you if you're masking in front of me. So the fact that everybody's masked is protecting everybody in that space. We also have different practices for people who are symptomatic or with known exposures. So if we have a patient who has known exposures, is symptomatic, meets kind of our screening criteria, then we're gonna wear more protective equipment than a simple surgical mask. I think it's really important that parents understand that you know we've always been careful about making sure that if a child is sick and symptomatic in some way, and we have well kids coming to clinic, that we're really trying to make sure that isn't mixing. Um, but we've been extra careful in this period of the COVID-19 pandemic to make sure that our sick care and our well care, we really have practices in place to make sure that those are separate and that kids who are sick and symptomatic are treated a certain kind of way to make sure that they're isolated and safe and not exposed to other kids. In the inpatient setting, there are some similarities. So you'll still have the screening with the six feet apart tape, the screening questions, the masks. And again, you'll be asked to go sort of directly to your destination. And so in the inpatient settings, there are signs that indicate that and there'll be people to help you make make sure that happens so there's really minimizing time that people are waiting in any common areas. For a particular patient encounter, the benefits of receiving medical care right now outweigh the risks of that brief interaction where we're closer than six feet. I feel safe coming to work every day. I have a family, I have young children, I have a spouse, so I think about safety all the time um, and I feel really confident that the measures that we're taking to make sure that we're minimizing crowding, masking, screening, careful hand hygiene, all of our cleaning practices, I feel really confident that Rainbow is a safe place to deliver care and to get care for your kids.